this is something I've been meaning to do. I wanted to test some of these fuses that people are often tapping. Uh, this one and that other 10 amp fuse there. They can only be mounted with a fuse tap in one direction because of the surrounding pieces of plastic around them. So I wanted to see actually which which leg was line versus load because that impacts the orientation of your fuse tap. The issue with fuse orientation is that when installed correctly, the original fuse that is being used by the system be, it remains isolated from your added fuse. If you install incorrectly, backwards essentially, the new fuse, the power drawn by your devices, are actually that load and the original system load are both being pulled through the original fuse. So you're more likely to actually blow your original system fuse in that case if you have it installed incorrectly. So I printed out the fuse box diagram here. When people are wiring accessories, they're usually looking for a constant battery and a accessory, so ignition only. So I marked out, uh, previously tested fuse number three, auto dimming mirror, image processing, module A, automatic high beam control. That's fuse three, and that is ignition only. The only other micro two fuse that's ignition only is number six, uh, which is the moonroof, DC inverter, driver door switch pack, power slide, rear window switch. So those two I've seen people tap for ignition only power, uh, which is good for like a, the dimming mirror or the ignition only for dash cam, and then you usually have a separate fuse for uh, battery, constant battery for a parking mode. Anyway, so I'm gonna test number three and number six to see which leg of the, the fuse is line versus load. And so let's give that a shot. I got my multimeter here. We're on DC voltage. Um, I got the ground connected. And just to show you, this is number three. We're showing no voltage with ignition off. And let's see, number six up here. Also, no voltage, but for example, you know, other other fuses here are constant battery. They're showing 12.5 or so. So let's pull number three, let's see what we get. So again, we should be getting no voltage on either leg. Okay, turn on accessory. Bottom leg, nothing. Or maybe I'm not making contact. There we go. Bottom leg, fuse three, line. Top leg, fuse three, no voltage load. Again, bottom leg. Getting 14.6 out of the battery right now. Juicy. Okay. This image is from a Maverick owner who posted this image where they tapped fuse 3 and this actually is fine. This orientation is correct because the 12 volt line uh, coming in is on, from the line is on the bottom. 
and in this case the orientation works fine with both fuses isolated. Let's try number six. All right, number six. Double check, no voltage. No voltage. Turn on accessory. Number six. Tis continued ralphing of COVID misinformation. Bottom leg. Nothing. That Top leg. Top leg load. Or line, rather. Okay, top leg on number six. This image is from Jeremy Oberbeck, who has a lot of very helpful YouTube videos. He tapped fuse six, and since the top leg is the line, and this is the only orientation it fits in kind of a janky angle it looks like um, this actually is fine as well so I guess that concludes this little investigation and it turns out that the orientation of those two fuses is not an issue